In this video, I'm just going to have a look at uh, this illustration here. And you'll see I'm showing the before and after right now. And I just want you to see the end result. And then we'll go ahead and uh, have a look at everything I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm probably live. Now, I can't see myself uh, in the camera. And when I say live, I mean recording, not live live. It's probably on at the moment. Um, <clears throat> I will have to clear my throat a little bit. It's very early in the morning. And, well, I'll just clear my throat sometimes. It happens. This is with the new software I'm testing. <coughs> if I don't, uh, if I don't put this on, uh, YouTube, which is kind of my goal, <coughs> it'll probably be because of, uh, what do you call it, that uh, they have a watermark, a watermark they put over the video. So what I'm doing here is a cleanup. There's a lot of stuff in here where you, you can tell it still just kind of looks like a, a comic book drawing that got filled in, and I'm trying to move past that. I get a little bit, a little bit into a more painterly style, and uh, some things are just weird that I might need to fix. Let me see if I have. Yeah, I can flip the canvas. So that's good. So this new software, uh, multiple tests that are being done at the same time. Software is called Camtasia, and uh, well, that'll be obvious if uh, I do upload this. So you'll see the watermark. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff going on here. There is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm kind of like drawing while I'm thinking about what I'm going to say next, which is not very good. Sorry about that. A little perhaps impolite. But uh, I just didn't really prepare my thoughts. I do have some thoughts. One of the thoughts is that here I am again. I haven't made a video in a very long time. I have a baby. She is, uh, excuse my stutter there, she is, she's a year old and she needs a lot of uh, time and attention. So for me to be uh, recreationally drawing pictures, which is what I do here, uh, it's not very sensible. Well, not, not to dedicate too much time to it. And it hasn't been sensible, I should say, but perhaps going forward here it will be sensible again. That's kind of what my hopes are. Because she's getting big enough now that, uh, well, not to say she can take care of herself or anything, but uh, she's past that one-year mark. <clears throat> she's being watched very well and only takes me, I'm hoping to spend, if I could spend like an hour a day on these videos, and with this new software, that could be reduced because it's simultaneously uh, recording everything for me as I want it to be done. And also, uh, when it's done, it pretty much handles all the production that I need. I'm not big on like post-production for these videos, but I can. I should be able to zoom in when need be. Um, it has a tool to readjust the audio. Um, long story short, the simple version could be that I've tested it already and I like it. <clears throat> so I, right now I just have to decide whether or not I'm going to go go in for that price, which is uh, hefty. That's a big decision. It's uh, like $250, which I have. Um, I've definitely made that much money back uh, in uh, video revenue from online courses. You could see most of that. Um, it seems like it's kind of public. Like if you go to Udemy or Skillshare, you, you, you might think, oh, he's. This is the. You'll see the cost of my course, and then you'll calculate and say, uh, well, look at how many students are in the course. And so that's all uh, not necessarily a scam, but it, it is deceiving, somewhat deceiving, because they give the courses away at practically whatever price they want. 
And if you don't agree to that, then, um, well, you're not going to show up on the list so much, and they're not going to promote you so much. So, it's like with everything, you know. You always think uh, somebody else is doing so well and got so lucky. That may be true for some people. Uh, like, well, I mean, <clears throat> it just came to mind recently. I've been watching PewDiePie because, uh, I mean, I was never into gaming videos or anything like that. I was just curious, you know, what is it? What is it that this guy does? So I put it on and I looked up his channel and was surprised to find that he's not really doing anything about gaming, or if so, rarely. And uh, truth be told, it's kind of funny or just ridiculous what he's doing. He, he's actually like, it's like his YouTube channel is just about pranking YouTube at this point, it seems. And uh, he talks a lot about what's going on in, the, in YouTube itself, because he is the number one YouTube channel. So, I mean, that's actually a fact as of this date of this video. But he, uh, he has competition, which is a, another thing he spends a lot of time on, and it's kind of funny, with uh, T-Series, this popular Indian Bollywood channel uh, that's picking up a lot of uh, traction, obviously. YouTube might be somewhat new or some type of uh, technological advancements are taking place in India at the time, which is allowing a lot more people to have access to YouTube, one or the other. And because uh, India is a very, very big population, comparable to China, not more, that's actually an argument. So I lived in China for a long time. And <clears throat> Chinese people take pride in, uh, well, I mean, anything that the Chinese people have, they'll take pride in it. I personally think having a big population is not something really cool. Um, after living in China, I was very happy that I could go someplace else. <laughs> I don't mean that as an insult. That's just my personal preference, you know. But uh, they like it because it's something they can, uh, I don't know. You know how people are. Sometimes if you have something, what if you're like the fattest guy in school, right? It's not something to be really proud of, but if it's true, you might as well keep that. It's kind of a, a trophy that you can have if you didn't have anything else going for you. Then you might feel a little, uh, little awkward if another guy came to school and he was just about as fat as you. I know that sounds weird, but in some odd way, that's actually how things work sometimes, in many cases, actually. So a lot of weird stuff with this uh, illustration. One thing to do with uh, saturation, there's, there's so much stuff I could be doing differently right now. One of them is to change the mode here to multiply or layover, overlay, I mean, try that. Yeah, see, if I do overlay, it keeps all of the dark colors where they are. It's just adding the saturation in like that. And I wanted a bit more saturation on here and there. That's actually a really good thing to do right there. Sometimes even if it's wrong, that's forgivable as long as it's better. <clears throat> there are a lot of very popular art might not be scientifically accurate, but it's popular because people like it. So that would be the difference between wrong and uh, good. You know, wrong or right. There's different type, different ways of achieving different goals. There's way too much uh, to think about with this guy here. First of all, his poll has already improved because previously it had a black line around it. And that's unacceptable. Um, also, little things like this, the, the obvious like black lines between his fingers kind of makes it look like... Uh, well, there should be a black line. <clears throat> There's a name for that. Uh, I think, is it the exclusion shadow or inclusion shadow? I can't remember which. But basically, it means a spot where the light cannot be touching because it's like a fold or some place where two points meet. So that's acceptable, that's good. But 
it doesn't have to look like thick cartoon lines as it does here. So in this case, I'd want to go back to the regular, normal style of painting. And just kind of lower the opacity a bit. Just don't want it to stand out so much. And over here, if I could make it disappear, I don't want it to come all the way out to that edge there. But I can't just erase it because um, that'll leave a hole in there. So I need to take this thumb and have it kind of come in and overlap there a bit. I'll just force it in there. And then take this, which should be a thumbnail. And so I'm just trying to work out a lot of these lines. <clears throat> Some of them can stay. They might be representative of something like veins or you know, wrinkles, tendons in his hand. So that would be okay. But I just don't want it to be too pronounced. <clears throat> Look like uh, there are cartoony lines. Eh? It's hard to get it perfect. And I did want to have a bit something else that kind of failed over here with this dark color. I'm picking up colors when you, whenever you see me dab around like that. I'm like picking up right now. I'm picking that color because I have the hot keys all set up. Pick this blue up, dark blue. I have a shade down here. So I don't want his fingers to look. So fatty, meaty, I want them to look more like uh, bony. So there should be a bone in the middle part. <clears throat> so here it should be skinny. And then where the knuckles and things are, it should be not so skinny. So put some gaps around there. Bulges for the knuckles <clears throat> and joints. So that's a couple of things. Little things like this I could just nitpick on for hours. And uh, I don't know if that's beneficial at all for uh, the video. I'm just do an experiment. Another experiment I'm doing here is a time test. Because other, uh, I've got this on the, it's basically what you call the, uh, <coughs> the free demo. <coughs> and so, um, I've just gone through so many softwares over the years. Uh, even the most basic free softwares, which I had to program myself, which at least in that case, they were reliable because I could control them. <clears throat> Whenever there was a problem, I could try and fix it. But even in that case, it's, uh, it's problematic sometimes. Sometimes you might just run out of memory <clears throat> or you don't know what's going on. The nicer software like this, which I will be paying a, a decent price for, I would expect it to work. And I read about other ones, uh, Vegas Pro is another software. <coughs> and uh, I just read through all the reviews on Steam. That's why I like Steam. Luckily, we have that. And people were just saying it crashes, it crashes, it crashes. So I'm not going to buy that one. <coughs> Also, look at the detail I'm adding here, which adds a lot of depth, a lot of meaning. Not the type of depth like spatial depth, but uh, the meaningful depth to to everything. So if I were to spend an hour just working on this right here, this, uh, this stick he has, right? Before, it just looked like a stick, and it had a black outline. So it looked like a cartoon stick that was filled in with a little bit of wooden texture and very lazily, sloppily done even at that, <clears throat> to be honest. But now if I spend significant time on it, <clears throat> perhaps it'll come out a little bit better. You need a softer brush. I just want to do some lighting. And very low opacity, apparently. I'm trying to so wood has grain in it. You notice I'm adding like these, uh, it's kind of like winding, winding pattern. So kind of like a, 
not even sure the right vocabulary for it. So a, a, a winding, bending, weedy kind of stick or a branch or something. <clears throat> So sometimes I can't articulate everything, but I know what it is. And having different colors and lights bouncing off from different areas is good. And I'm going line, like line by line here. So you can also feel a sort of a texture, I would hope, <coughs> comes out of the, uh, the graininess of it. Sort of like a ivy like viney kind of feeling. <clears throat> All wildlife and well, green stuff, bushes and stuff. It should be more random like that. And that's kind of what I work want to work on on this one is make it look a bit more natural. <clears throat> Here's another example where you see there's just black lines for this uh supposed to be something like a Celtic. I did look up reference for everything. I looked up, you know, what would Greco Greco-Roman era of uh, a boat design be, you know, I assumed it would be different from Celtic, but it's kind of the same. <clears throat> it's kind of similar. They did a lot of, uh, for the Greek in particular, I think they did a lot more boxy stuff, kind of similar to this one. I kind of did that wrong, but I wasn't really focusing on, well, I was focusing on Greek mythology, actually. But I don't think, uh, a lot of stuff I looked up, it wasn't all like that. So, I don't know. I just ended up with that. <clears throat> and then if we put the waves back, the foreground waves here. Uh, yeah, did you see how that opens slowly? Yeah. I'll zoom in. When I turn this layer back on, it's coming slow, like one piece at a time. Normally that just snaps on or snaps off. So that's another problem I was worried about is uh, memory usage with this software. <clears throat> Again, assuming you know, there's a pay for a product, I hope they manage that better than some of the other free stuff I was using. And also, Adobe Premiere didn't help much at all because um, Adobe Premiere is a good video editing software, but I didn't uh, find anything. And maybe they do have you know, some recording feature, but I just, you know. It, if it was obvious, it wasn't obvious to me, or I didn't see it pop up anywhere, and so I just figured I'd use what I was using, and that is FFmpeg, very raw, just video capture kind of kind of a program, and you have to type at the command line, <clears throat> and then I would have to uh, use uh, Audacity, free software to clean up the sound separately. And then, after that, I would use a software like Premiere, or I'd go into Linux and use a free software called OpenShot, and then I'd have to cut the video. Or you cut out some parts, uh, add some text, you know, clean it up, stuff like that. <clears throat> but, this is what I got. Camtasia. Maybe it'll save my day. Because with the previous way of getting things done, I'm I'm definitely like over. I'm out. There's no way I could continue. I have too much stuff to do. So if I continue with any illustration and video stuff, it's going to have to be all uh, pay for stuff here on out. So one place where a lot of these darker lines were good, such as right here, is where it helps bring a contrast out. So if you're looking from a distance, everything stood out very well. You see his hand here is another example where it looks like a lot of cartoony lines were there and then filled in, uh, but still leaving a lot of the lines around. So I want to take away that, but hands are kind of hard work on so I might have to focus on that more when I'm not talking at the same time I like this here how that worked out with the this layer <clears throat> and since I haven't done any of this kind of work for a long time um, there's something 
I don't know, new and refreshing about it. I feel like now I can look at some things with new eyes. That's weird, it's not coming out so easily. That's a little better. That helps too, to make things pop a bit. Just that use of saturation. And if I take my time, I could like separate things. See right here, his arm is like blending into the stick. It would be nice if I could uh, separate two layers there temporarily, at least to you know, flesh all that out. <clears throat> and I'm always thinking about things. Even when I'm not drawing, I look, look at things. <laughs> kind of makes sense, right? I look at things with my eyes all the time. Sometimes it's like <clears throat> the saturation of color is focused. <clears throat> it's focused. Um, we go for a fiery kind of look in the eyes. The saturation of color is not in the shade and it's not in uh, the light. The light is more white and obviously the shade is more dark. Right in between, you get that strong saturation. Obviously making eyes attractive. And when I say attractive, I mean not like sexy or beautiful, but make it so they pop and grab your attention. It's extremely important. <clears throat> Especially for our main character here, who is the Charon. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to do something about my... Uh, my cough, my wheezing. Somebody complained. In uh, one of the comments <clears throat> on one of my courses, it's a valid complaint. I, I've got nothing to say. Although it was, uh, they didn't really put it in a fair way, I think. They kind of threw it in there as, as a cheap shot amidst a bunch of other criticisms that they had. So that's not it's not the best way to go about it really. Hmm. Came out too dark. Maybe yeah, I'll just undo all that. Just trying to get more of this saturated color here. But not that much. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do for now. That's improvement. Let's look at the... Uh, I hope I have a folder open here. Yeah. <coughs> right. So here's a previous one you can see. <coughs> uh, not there. No, that didn't help. Oop. Get back to where I was. Can I zoom in? I don't know how to use this. Hold on, let me try to open that again. Maybe I need to control. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know how to move it now. Just trying to center it. I guess that's it. So you can see that there. <clears throat> and uh, notice, like I was saying, the black line all around the stick, which is, well, I should call it an ore. That's what it is. So I... You know, I posted this, finished, done. I put on DeviantArt, put it, uh, posted on, uh, I don't know, Twitter, wherever. And, you know, people liked it, liked it. Didn't get a whole lot of attention. Maybe it's these little things, I think, sometimes that makes it not so well received. Because people look at all those little details. Especially the color. When a color is kind of lame like that, it doesn't pop. <clears throat> I think people notice that and they kind of don't like it. All right, so here was how it was. Here's how it is now. I think it's definitely popping a bit more. Obviously, I took away some of the cartoonishness of it. Uh, his beard looks a bit like spaghetti, <clears throat> but I have some brushes that can help with that. One thing at a time. So it's going to take a long time. I'm going to put on some podcast and just work on it in my free time. That's it for now. Have a good day. See you. Goodbye.